This tutorial is going to show you how to save frames to a shared object. Um, more specifically, the last frame that you visited. So that if you're making an application, you know, it can save your progress or in our case, change our background color, which is what we want to do today. So if you get the FLA from the description, you'll find this. We got two layers. One of them contains this movie clip, which is just a big box. And if we double click it, it's called Color Control MC. Um, you'll find that it has three frames in it. One that's solid blue, one that's yellowish, and one that is white. Um, and they've even been named. So if you click on the frame, you can see it's been named that just for uh, helping us to see what's what later. Um, and then we have three buttons here. Uh, one's blue, one's yellow BTN, one's white BTN. Um, and pretty much what we want is the user clicks the button, it changes the background color. And then when we hit apply, it saves it to the shared object so that when you reopen, it remembers your preference that you chose last time. So let's, uh, let's begin. If we press on F9 here, um, you can see that I've made a bit of a start. Um, we've got the shared object saved in here. Um, and we've got the first handler that makes the color get picked. So this is the blue button handler and you can see here color control MC, which is the name of the box that is our movie clip that houses our three colors, which you can see up here. Um, we're telling it to go to and stop to frame number one. Um, that's great and that'll work, but obviously we need to do the other two. So if we grab this code that I've prepared earlier, we got the yellow button one and the white button one here. So going to uh, and stop frame number two and three respectively based on our color preference that we looked at before. Um, so this is good, but obviously it needs to be saved. Otherwise, when we reopen, it won't remember our preference. And that is where our apply button comes in. Um, so very similar to our other ways of saving to a shared object that we looked at previously, except this time, instead of saving a variable or an array, we are saving the current frame based on color control MC. And obviously it's getting flushed. Now that's great, but we need it to load on initialization so that um, the color is chosen automatically. Um, and that's what our last little bit of code here is. Just like last time, if the SO doesn't find anything, then it's just gonna pick the default color, which in our case is frame number three, which is white. Um, and if it does have a preference, i.e. someone saved before they quit last time, it will load the last frame, uh, which is exactly what we want. So now if we press control enter, uh, we have our options here, which is blue, hit apply, um, color frame found, color saved, close it, control enter again, um, and it's remembered blue. Likewise, if we choose yellow, control enter again, let's just choose yellow. All right, simple way to save your frames, lots and lots of uses for this within uh, a lot of different applications that you could make. Thanks for watching.